feel, and you pushing yourself to the limit, the same pain or doubt that you have getting up 3 o'clock or 3.30 in the morning in your mind. You know, in your mind, your body saying, go back to sleep. You don't need to get up. Everybody else is still in bed. You can't fall victim to that. You got to get up. You got to push yourself. You cannot abandon the development of your body, your mind, and your spirit. It all got to be balanced out. Because you know what? If you don't get up and be ahead of the competition, I guarantee you, they, somebody out there, if they can, if right now in some, some part of the, the United States in some area, people are up until 5 or 6 a.m. in the morning selling drugs or doing crime or stalking somebody trying to find a way to get over on them, then you ain't got no excuse. Even a criminal know, hey, Yo, if you get up like real early, when everybody sleep, you can catch this guy, this lady going somewhere and you can rob them. Or when the store guy goes into his business and or, or he goes to the bank, catch him when they least expect him. So if that's how most crimes are committed, why you still won't be sleep when the criminal or, or the soldier's up doing what they need to do? You can sleep, you had to sit up. And when you go to sleep somebody, you have to make sure somebody that, that had your back to the fullest was up, being aware of the surroundings. That's how life is. So I approach it that way when it comes down to taking care of myself every day. And when I don't live my life that way and don't get up before the competition, then guess what? I'm disappointed. I feel left behind. And I feel lost. Get my life back in order when I came home from being in class. I'm reading an article about Billy Blanks. And Billy said, you got to train like a maniac. So when you go into competition, you'll be prepared above and beyond the call of duty. And you know what? For all those times I had neglected working out and pushing myself to the max, when God gave me that chance again, I would run in the rain. I would run in the snow. I would press myself. In jail, I would do a thousand push-ups and kicks and all that stuff, I would run a yard, and even when I came home, I would do the exact same thing, and I would cuss myself out. I would be frustrated with myself. See, I don't need nobody to push me and tell me to go, go, go. I don't even need a long clock to get me up. I get up automatically. My body just gets up, and I'm ready to go, and I'm ready to work out. And you got so many things. See, you can do all those positive things. Everything that everybody told you to do, work out, pray, go to church, treat people with love, do it the honest way. Guess what? Somebody got to be the victim of all the people who are trying to get over. And guess what? That's what happens. So if you, if you realize that it's this hard when you're doing it the right way and you still going to go through stuff because life will continue to exist and people going to continue to do bad things. If you realize it's that bad when you're trying to do the right things, imagine how bad it is when you're not trying to do the right things. And that's what's so wild about this, man. You ain't got no time to waste for getting high and trying to front that like you're a thug or running around and trying to get over on people. Because if you try to be successful, man, you got to be conscious. You got to be clean and sober, and you got to be focused, and you got to be a hit of Because even your family, they're going to find a way. Once, they, once people find out how you function, they find out your every move. It's like the enemy. Whenever they feel a little down, they don't mean it. They're going to do something to break your spirit. And you got to do whatever you can possibly do to fight, once again, that internal war, to maintain that spiritual peace and harmony. You know what I'm saying? Because something will happen. Because of what you do, something going to happen. Not unless you like holy than I. And there's no human being on this earth. I don't care what they tell you that's like that. They just front and keep it as a secret. I ain't trying to go out like that. So what you see is what you get. And to me, that's what's keeping it real. It's about giving it, giving it your very best every time you step on the floor, every time you attack life, and every time you move forward. I used to think, hey, when you became famous, guess what? Everybody in the whole wide world will come to your martial arts school and everybody will learn from you and everybody will look up to you. Oh, guess what? And your, your telephone will be ringing, you will get all these things in the mail, people will be knocking on the door. Guess what? Check it out. It don't go that way. If you ain't self-motivated to keep promoting yourself and keep pushing yourself, you can forget it. Because ain't nobody going to do it for you.
got to do it for yourself. It's when it's king, God is your best friend. Learn to love yourself and never give up on yourself. You got to keep pressing. Regardless of what they say, take it to the next level, bro. No matter what. For the sisters, too, no matter what. You got to keep pressing. Regardless of who you are, you got to keep pressing. Taking it to the next level, you know what I'm saying? Don't let nobody break you down. Don't let nobody take your spirit. Don't let nobody break your spirit. You hear me? Nobody, 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 nobody.